you smash that control on the TV. Okay, what's up everyone? I'm ProHD here, and I probably have a, probably one of the most important videos from a subscriber's point of view. I'm sure many of you wanted to see a video like this. Okay, before I get into it, I want to say thanks so much for 8,000 subscribers. I still don't know what to do for my special video. I'll think of something tomorrow, and I'm growing rapid. I don't know what happened the last week. Suddenly on Social Blade, I was like 20, 30 subs a day. Now it's hitting like... 60 70 127 then i go 80 then 69 then 60 it's just ins it's insane even the view so i guess i i hope this is where i start growing let's see and once it goes deep into jan feb march all these videos will start going viral and at least out there so you know it helps pick up more so i think this is it i hope this is it where i start growing anyway uh, that's not what this video is about um okay a lot of you want to know how to make it on youtube I, look i'm not really big enough to really say that but I can give you a general idea that I feel I'm going in the right track to being a big YouTuber, I don't know. But I can give you the pointers that help me grow to being at least the small YouTuber that I am, 8,000 subs or something, whatever. Um, hopefully I can redo this one day when I have 100,000 subs. I don't know if I ever reach that, that'll be great, but anyway. Um, these things come into many things, okay? The first and most important thing about how to be, how to grow your FIFA channel, this can be taken as a, a, as a YouTube, uh, how to grow on YouTube in general, but this is mostly I made this for FIFA like only a few things can be taken from this that can be regarded as um, successful ways to help you uh, get out there and expose your uh, channel on YouTube okay just enjoy the background crap that's just some of the squads I made you know I thought I put something in instead of a blank screen okay so the first thing is a mic a mic and a recording device obviously right I went through YouTube going using a laptop mic and I had like all these insanely expensive squads so regardless I should have I was like okay I can still be able to grow then I thought to myself, then I started seeing comments like, dude, your mic is terrible. If you get a better mic, you will start growing. And that and that's really true. It makes a big difference. And I really was like, dude, it's just a bit of static in the background. Why are people making such a big deal? But it makes total it makes so much sense. You need a better mic. So that's one big thing. And I and you can get like a blue yeti or a turtle beach or even a, a triton or astro. These aren't as good as a snowball, a blue yeti, whatever it's called. Um but it's very important, honestly, a microphone and a recording device. Don't go for a capture card and all those that are linked to the computer that just record in 360p or 480. Get a HD PVR, at least if it's a cheaper option for you because Elgato is more expensive. You can get a second-hand PVR for like 70 pounds or something. I think Elgato is way more. I think it's 120. I'm not too sure about that. But either way, they're both great recording in 1080p. But the Elgato is better because it has less wires. It has pretty much two cables. <laughs> And it's very convenient and it records um, better quality, honestly, than uh, PVR. PVR does have a bit of, I don't know, it does seem a bit dull, the PVR, but uh, compared to Elgato, the colors are just brilliant. But anyway, another thing is um, early uploads when a game is released. So suppose you're taking this from any game point of view, uh, let's say uh, Call of Duty or whatever, but I'm, I'm going to say how I started. I picked up, what, 4,000 subs or something? And... Um, well, 3,500 or 4,000 is since start of FIFA, and that's early uploads. As soon as the game comes out, spam the, the videos. I'm, I don't care if you upload 20 in one day. It may not pick up so many views straight away. Let's say you have 1,000 subs and you pick up 800 views every video. You'll pick up like 20, uh, you'll pick up 100 views, then 200, 300, because you're spamming them so not everyone can watch them, right? But what this does is it gets out there on YouTube faster eventually. Like when you people search up Squad Builder and you've uploaded Squad Builder, yours will be up at the top. Therefore, people will see it. That's why, and that really helped me grow. Like, if you type in legend reviews, I'll be up there with Itani more than anyone else, more than any of the big YouTubers. Mine will always be on the front page no matter what, if not the top three. Itani's always there because that guy is, you know, king of reviews, obviously. But, um, I th it's just always up there. So, early uploads and spamming is so important. After you've picked up a fan base, then you can go into, uh, Taking it slow and taking, uh, putting more work into it. It's all about getting out there. But don't make your videos sloppy when you're just spamming them out there. Make sure it has a proper intro. That's another thing I want to get to. Intros and thumbnails. When you put a boring thumbnail, like you, it's a squad build, and, you're, and the picture it's captured on the thumbnail is the grass of the FIFA pitch. That's stupid. You, if you put something more entertaining, uh, like an advertise, it's more like advertising. You can have like a really cool squad builder with fancy colors, and you can have it in big writing saying 100k squad builder. That also helps a lot. And um, have a unique series, that's also another thing, here you can see the points I've put out for you, you can pause at any time. Have a unique series to carry on your, uh, and make you, like, all YouTubers have their own unique style, that's what I've started to build now, and hopefully I'll find one. Squads of Gods, and stuff like that, and this Ultimate Team Career Mode, 
and pink slips. That's also another way to uh, grow your channel. But don't do that right away. Pick up a certain fan base, but also you can do it right away. That does help you with a bit of raging and stuff. And um, don't do giveaways. That's the number one thing I, rec I don't recommend. Do not do giveaways. FIFA 12, I learned that lesson. I put out so many giveaways, and, I, and they were legit, obviously. Inform Neuer, Inform Casillas. Yeah, I did a messy one at the end. I did so many. And I just picked up like seven, eight hundred subs. They were views were there, subs weren't there. But then when I started picking up a thousand subs, dude, they guys, they didn't even watch the videos. All they were there was they were, they were subscribed. They will stay subscribed to you, but they will not click on that video unless it says giveaway or pink slips. I promise you that. So anyway, we've come to the end of the video, guys. I hope you like and subscribe, and this will help you. I just wanted to give you a little push out there. Christmas is coming up, and you guys want to know how to grow. And I think this is what will really help you, give you a little idea, at least ten to fifteen percent of it. Out of a hundred, I don't know where I got that estimate from, but yeah, I like doing, yeah, okay, shut up, Emperor. But, um, yeah, I hope this really helps you, and uh, good luck to all of you out there. I love my subscribers, and I like interacting, and if you don't know this, I have my BBM download link uh, below. You're more than welcome to uh, ask me anything for advice and stuff. Right now, my channel's been suspended. Hopefully, I'll get it back next week, but this has made me want realize that I, can, I should start doing more cheap thing, uh, squads and uh, doing proper series to help. Because my subscribers out there can't don't don't really have 20 million coins, do they? So it's made me open my eyes, and I think that's what's made me grow now and uh, realize. So just want to thank everyone for all that support. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me like, what do I do for a living? Where? How old am I? This and that. I think it's really time for Q and A. I've said that a few times. I think it really is time. So um, yeah, just stay tuned for that. And if you don't know, I have a football channel, um, which I do skills and reviews and all in real life. My tutorial is a bit more unique than others because I do the skill in a match as well and show you the tutorial. Link in the description and Pierre FC. Okay, I'm going to go now, guys. I have football. Peace. Don't forget to check out that channel. I'm sure you'll like it. And, you know, I really thank everyone. I mean it. I really love interacting with everyone. And I might start a community channel and the shout out Sunday or some crap. Let's see. Peace. Hey guys, just before I go, I completely forgot the most important part of this, how to be successful on FIFA, YouTubing, whatever. Keywords in the titles. Um, a lot of people used to tell me have short descriptive titles, like, like you know, uh, FIFA Squad Builder 100k. No, man. I've come to know that what helped me grow was big, long titles. And then eventually, when I have 100,000 subs, then I can just have easy, chilled title names. But still, for certain videos, you need keywords in there. People look for what? Pink slips. Uh, expensive squads pack openings you have to have all these keywords like if you get neymar in a pack you don't just put neymar in a pack fifa 14 i put like fifa 14 neymar 86 rated in a pack insane or something like that people will sometimes want to type in amazing pack luck and then if you have that keyword amazing in there like amazing what a, like uh, amazing 86 rated player that'll come up these keywords are so essential and uh, remember, keywords, titles, long, descriptive, not too, too long, like something stupid like FIFA 14, amazing goal I scored the other day. No, have it like in dot, 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 dot. You can check on my channel and take a look at the kind of titles I do. Peace.